Hello everyone, this is Anil Asti, studying in Steve Venkateshwara College of Engineering in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today we are going to learn a topic of Applied Physics. Today's topic is Laser Printer, Razor Cooler, Barcode Scanner. Laser Printer In this video we can to learn about the laser printer introduction, history, basic components, laser printing process, advantages of laser printer, disadvantages, application, latest laser printers, Introduction Printers are classified into impact and non-impact printers. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Laser printer uses electrostatic printing process. Laser printers are used to produce high quality images and graphics. It is a type of printers that utilize a laser beam to produce an image on drum. It uses non-impact photocopiers technology. History Laser printer invented by Gray Starkweather at 1969 when American Xerox Corporation held a dominant position in the copier market in 1960. Commercial IBM introduced the first laser printer in 1975 to use it with its mainframe computers. Basic component Drum, laser, power supply, paper transport, primary cornea, transfer cone, fusing roller, controller. Laser printing process Cleaning, conditioning, writing, developing Cleaning Cleaning Before a new page is printed, any remaining from the previous page are cleared away. The drum is swept free with a rubber blade and fluorescent. Lamp removes any electric charge remaining on the drum. Conditioning The entire drum is uniformly charged by the primary corona wire. This charge conditions the drum for the next step. Writing The laser printer controller uses a laser beam and a series of mirrors to create the image of page on the drum. The laser beam is turned on or off in accordance with the image to be created on the drum. Developing A magnet inside the developing roller attracts the iron particle in the toner. This roller rotates near the drum and the toner is attracted to the area of the drum that have been exposed by the laser creating the print image on the drum. Applications for taking huge printout, for boarding and bannering printing, for taking light fast printouts, for, for printing books, newspaper, etc. in huge industries. Laser cooling A stationary atom sees the laser neither red nor blue shifted and does not absorb the photon. An atom moving away from the laser sees it red shifted and does not absorb the photon. An atom moving towards the laser sees it blue shifted and absorbs the photon, slowing the atom. The photon excites the atom, moving an electron to a higher quantum state. If an atom is moving towards any laser, that particular beam would appear at the slightly higher frequency. This is called as Doppler effect. The laser light is turned to a frequency with an energy just below the energy of an electronic transition of the atom excites the atoms to higher state. The atoms will always scatter more photon from the laser beam pointing opposite to the direction of the motion. This small increase in the frequency makes the frequency of the laser exactly equal to the needed one for atomic excitation. The photons are thus absorbed and atom excites. The atom recoils back due to the momentum provided by the photons and re-emits a new photon in random direction coming back to its ground state. Thus the atom shows down and thus the kinetic energy of the system and thus the temperature goes down. Ke kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 kT. So V is proportional to root T. This makes the temperature down to few milli kelvins. Limitations Minimum temperature. The atoms performs a random walk in momentum space with step equal to the photon moment due to spontaneous emission and photon absorption. This constitutes a heating effect which counterattacks the cooling process and the imposes a limit of the amount by which the atom can be cooled. Maximum concentration. The concentration must be minimal to prevent the absorption of the photons into the gas in the form of heat. This absorption happens when two atoms collide with, with each other while B of them has excited electron. 
This is then a possibility of excited electron dropping back to the ground state with its extra energy liberated in additional kinetic energy to colliding atoms which eats the atom. Atomic structure Only certain atoms and ions have optical transition to laser cooling since it is extremely difficult to generate the atoms of the laser power needed at wavelengths such shorter than 300 nanometer. The more hyperfine structure an atom has, the more ways are for it to emit the photons from the upper state and not return to the original state, removing it from the cooling process. Applications Construction of atomic clocks, atomic interferometer and atomic laser in the development of instrument for atomic opticals and atomic lithography. Observation of Bose-Einstein condensation in a dilute atomic gas. Barcode scanner. Barcodes. What is barcode? Barcodes are simply a set of symbols used to represent alphanumerical information instead of seeing a number or letter. You would see a series of black and white bars in the various combination and it in different widths. These are used to encode data. The data encoded in such bars can be decoded again to represent in human readable form. What is barcode reader? A barcode reader is an electronic device for reading the printed barcodes. Like a flatbed scanner, it is consists of a light source, a lens and a light sensor translating optical impulses into electronic ones. Additionally, nearly all barcode readers contain decoder circuitry analyzing the barcode's image data provided by the sensor and sending the barcode content to the scanner output. Working A barcode consists of a series of parallel adjacent bars and spaces. Symbologies are used to encode the small string of the character data into the printed symbol. A barcode reader decodes a barcode by the scanning of the light source across the barcode and measuring the intensity of the light reflected back by the white spaces. The pattern of reflected light is detected with a photodiode which produces an electronic signal that exactly matches the printed bar's code pattern. This signal is then decoded by the original data by electronic circuit. Type of barcode readers. There are basically five major types of barcode readers. They are pen type reader, slot scanner, charge coupled device scanner which is also called as CCD, image scanner or camera based reader and laser scanner. Pen type reader and a laser can. Pen type reader consists of a light source and a photodiode that are placed next to each other in the tip of the pen. To read a barcode, you drag the tip of the pen across all the bars instead of even motion. The photodiode measures the intensity of the light reflected back from the light source and generates a waveform that is used to measure the width of the bars and spaces in the barcode. Dark bars in the barcode Absorb light and white space reflects light so that the voltage waveform generated by the photodiode is an exact duplicate of the bar sun space pattern in the barcode. This waveform is decoded by the scanner in a manner similar to the way more codes, dots and dashes are decoded. Charge coupled device reader. A CCD scanner has a better read range than the pen pen type reader and is often used to retail sales. Typically a CCD scanner has a gun type interference and has to be held no more than one inch from the barcode. Each time the barcode is scabbed several readings are taken to reduce the possibility of the error. A disadvantage of CCD is that it cannot read a barcode that is wider then it's our input phase. Camera based reader, image scanner. The newest type of barcode readers currently available for camera based readers that use a small video camera to capture an image of a barcode. The reader then uses digital image processing technique to decode the barcode. It can read a barcode from about three to six inches away from the general cost less than a laser scanner. Laser scanner. A laser scanner either handheld or stationary does not have to be close to the 
बार कोड इन आर्डर टू डू इट्स जॉब इट यूजर्स ए सिस्टम ऑफ मिरर एंड लेंस टू अलो द स्कैनर टू रीड द बार कोड रिगार्डलेसली ऑफ ओरिएंटेशन एंड कैन ईजीली रीड ए बार कोड अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर इंचस अवे टू रेड्यूज द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द एयर ए लेजर स्कैनिंग मे परफॉर्म अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड स्कैंस पर सेकेंड स्पेशलाइज लॉन्ग रेज लेजर्स आर केपेबल ऑफ रीडिंग बार कोड टू थ्री हंड्रेड फीट अवे interfacing of a barcode reader to a pc this diagram shows or a picture shows the how the interfacing of a barcode reader to a pc is connected barcode type and uses the type of barcode to use for a particular situation depends on the the use the data encoded in the barcode how the barcode will be printed there are several different types of barcode standard for different purpose these are called symbologies Each type of symbology, or a barcode type, is a standard that defines the printed signal and how a device such as barcode scanner, reader, and decodes the printed symbol. Benefits of barcoding: accuracy of data input, aid effective management for resource and inventories, labor saving by avoiding manual system, cost efficient, real time data collection. measurement of work in progress throughout the factory rapid access to total production costs more accurate dispatch applications are retail application supermarkets counter mounted barcode scanners universal product code price and description information warehousing healthcare application drugs device instruments identification of expired date blood banking blood group expiry date donor traceability advantages of barcode reader there are five basic advantages of barcode reader are speed accuracy data integrity easy to for implementation cost effectiveness disadvantages are system failure may cause more delays scratched and scrambled data may cause problems data must be coded in the barcode in laser scanning durability and the cost are the two disadvantages conclusion for the barcode scanner positive impact on daily life a lot of advantages with minor bottlenecks it has its versatility uses and its user friendly laser emission near or on the body is very harmful thanks for watching